So okay, not uh, just a double double, but another aggressive double double. What's the difference? How's your confidence level now? Uh, my confidence just keeps building. Uh, my teammates believe in me. I believe in them, and uh, we keep winning. So you know, I'm having fun. Bam Cal said he, he thinks that you're in better shape. I mean, how much is that helping you out? It seems like you're able to go harder for for longer periods, um, and you're playing a ton of minutes, obviously. Uh, I, lost, I think I lost like 10 pounds. I think that has a big factor to it. Um, just you know, keeping my body right, starting to eat healthier, and uh, watching my diet. Is that make it? Is that make it easy? I imagine sometimes changing your diet's not always the easiest thing. Yeah, but, it's not easy. But when you see your numbers go up, does that make it easier? Yeah, it makes it easier. You know, I'm just believing in the process and it's showing. How big is it as a team to come back and you know, pull it down or the first half to kind of come back and, and make a bigger statement? And, I mean, uh, I think early on, maybe people thought it was going the wrong way again, and then um, you know, here, here you we know, just running. just having fighting. You know, just having that that heart. Uh, just keep playing and keep fighting, and we fought back into it. You know, we came out with a W. Coach Watch. keeps telling us so much about confidence. Does it does it boost the confidence level for you all to be able to come back from down double digits a little yeah. more than maybe just leading the whole way? Yeah, because, um, you know, when you lead the whole way, you know, some people, you know, they start getting relaxed. But, you know, just fighting back, you know, and we get up, it just keeps building our confidence to just keep pushing the lead. Bam, to take over the lead now in the SEC and just earn a win like this late in the season, what does it do for you guys? Um, it builds our confidence, you know, it builds uh, Coach Cal's confidence and uh, we're going to the tournament, you know, look, looking forward. D does it help even more to do it without De'Aaron? Um, you know, we was missing a player, but, you know, it helps us, builds our confidence, and, you know, when he gets back, uh, he needs to have his confidence built. And, you know, we're going into the next game with a lot of confidence. When Malik's doing his thing in the in the second half, dropping 30, what's that like? And you guys had a, a front row seat for that. Um, Just, you know, just keep giving him the ball. You know, he's got the hot hand. So, you know, as any player should, you know, you got to give the hot hand to uh, Malik. And he was hot, so we just kept feeding him the ball. What were the bad things in your diet? Um, I don't know, just... Just so much stuff, like just uh, cutting down on, you know, fried food, and that's basically it. Uh, I don't know, something cookie, I guess. If the fried food went out, what came to um, You know, a lot of greens, fruits, uh, you know, water, Gatorade. Hard to do? No, nah, I mean, it's just, you just got to uh, keep a positive mind about it. When did you kind of start that, start paying attention to more what, what you were eating and stuff uh, like that? I don't know. It's just kind of. I was in my head. I was like, I gotta eat better. So I mean, I don't know when that day was, but sort of switched and uh, it's been better for me. Malik had some really nice dishes to you down low. Did you and he talk about that? Did you say something to him during the game? Um, no. Nah, you know, it's just uh, we we feed off of each other. So you know, when he has a one on one, it's easy for him to get by. And when I have, uh, when his man helps. You know, I kick it out for him for three. So we ought to be seeing more of that as time goes on now. Yeah, I mean, our, our team is starting to click and uh, it's starting to show. Coach is telling you that you needed to, to rebound more and make that more of an effort. Has that been a part of it, or is that something you just thought or something that just came along? Um, it's just been my confidence, you know, my confidence to go get every ball, every rebound, uh, every 50-50 every ball. It's just been my confidence. Have you done anything different technically as far as like bat blocking out, or is it just pretty much an effort thing? Uh, it's just an effort thing. You know, it's all hard to go get a rebound with four people draped on you, but you know, you just you just gotta have that mindset that I'm gonna get that ball. How do you season, explain? Season was going along, you were averaging about seven boards a game. You look at that and say, "That's not me. I'm better." Than that. Yeah, I mean, that's not me. You know, as I said, I changed my diet. You know, I'm starting to eat healthier and um, get more energy so I can stay in the game longer. Does that make you more explosive? You think to get those rebounds when you started changing your diet, like you were talking about? Yeah, I feel like you know I jump higher. I feel like uh, I'm light on my feet now. Have you ever Thank jumped you. over a guy before? And uh, in high school, I spin move and I jumped over the uh, the help man. Was he six nine? He was like he was like six five. Six five. When Malik's got to go on that wall, what's it like playing alongside? Um, you know, I'm happy for him. You know, just cheering him on. You know, you see us all smiling and uh, keep giving him the ball. I mean, it works in conjunction, right? You're boarding, get it out to the guards who are already out, and then they're able to hit threes or drive the lane. Yeah, I mean. I get my rebounds, they get their layups, and we all happy. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, I just walked in. You change your diet or something to help yourself out just to get better shape? 